Sunday morning to me. It feels like this is church. It's very nice. Um, I just felt like reporting a little bit. Um, when my alarm went off today, uh, I just decided to meditate right away. Or I didn't really decide it was going to happen. Yes. And I think I felt kind of this thing I've been seeing you do for the last couple of days. Um, where I felt like, if anything, I went into my belly and it just seemed like the breath was the predominant experience. And uh, it just kind of felt like being at the bottom of the ocean, had that sort of buoyancy or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. silence, but it was uh, definitely, I don't know, it was profound or something. Uh, but it was very easy to be there, and just the mind just felt very quiet. I mean, usually there's all this stuff that I'm doing in my meditation to try to keep quiet. Um, but it seemed very easy to just be in the valley and just be with the breathing. Um, so then I got up and I just started to do a little Tai Chi in my room, and the body just felt so open, and it just felt really nice. Um, I felt like I was breathing from my feet. Um, I was just doing some circular movement. So uh, then walking to the bus, I had this thought, there's no personal I, which is what you had said. There's just life flowing through this form in all forms, so I was sort of watching cars drive by. And having that thought seemed to create like a, an opening. Um, and then I was kind of laughing because there's still an eye watching, mm -hmm. but it was definitely like this openness. And then I kind of, I had a long street to walk to the bus, I mean, literally like maybe a mile. And I just was focused down the street. I wasn't really w watching anything. I was just like, and I thought, People driving by, I, I didn't, I kind of thought, well, what do I look like this kind of zombie? Just sort of, so it felt nice. It felt very open. Um, I don't know. I, I think, I still think about creativity, you know. I can't own creativity, but creativity comes through or doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that sort of happens without me anyways. Yes. But... So I'm just sort of feeling that relationship to what does life become? If you continue on this path, you know, what does that nothingness feel like if it can't even be experienced? Um, I even felt my mom in my mind kind of going like, dear, don't let go too much like that personal, <laughs> you know? It's like, it's okay, mom. <laughs> Funny to watch that. I could see my family like we're gonna lose Philip. <laughs> I actually did live in an ashram with a guru in California, and there was that fear. No one really spoke it, but I could feel it when I would visit my family. They're sort of like, "How are you? How's the ashram? You know, like, are we gonna lose you?" And when I left the ashram, they were so happy. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so now I'm Philip again, you know, and then. Uh, what you said yesterday to somebody about you've worked on the self and you've sort of got yourself how you like it, and then someone's asking you to let go of that self that you've just um, created or something. So there's a sense of like, I survived the ashram and, and, and whatever else I've been through and you know, um, feeling pretty peaceful and enjoying the life. Oh yeah, there definitely is a, a, a yearning for more. Um, so this is Ramblings, but it's fine to share it. <laughs> so, but a lot of gratitude. For a lot of gratitude. Um, it's, it's amazing. You know, I've been reading Nisar Gadatta for 10 years, and what you've said about awareness, like it just never clicked that mm -hmm. if awareness is aware of something, that's duality. And mm -hmm. it just, so, and, and the personal eye, just no personal eye, just. Oh, they really meant no personal life. Yes, it's literally it's yeah. no personal life. Yeah, that. So who's that this I it? who was walking down the street? Like, who's this I who has a mom mm -hmm. who wants doesn't want to lose him? Who, who, yeah. Who's he? Well, it's got to be the ego, the false self. Could they just be thoughts running through that are not Phillips? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, came very quick. Yeah. I'm going to try again. Well, because you said Matt Phillips, so I, that kind of yeah. confused me because I thought, well, yeah. I wouldn't even say that they're Phillips then, they're just thoughts. Yes, it's maybe just, they're just thoughts. Yeah. Maybe they are. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's another layer of thought which says, 
they must belong to somebody because everything belongs, this class belongs to somebody. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's, a, there's a given that everything belongs to somebody. Mm -hmm. well, let's pull that one away. <laughs> let's say the thoughts don't belong to anybody. That just feels really free. <laughs> like, it, it really does amaze me. It just feels like, wow, like no ownership. No, there is no ownership. Yeah. There is no ownership. That's the personal eye. If there's no personal eye, the ownership gets blown up with it. And you know, there's a halfway house of saying, well, there's no, you know, is there an impersonal eye? You know, throw the whole lot out. Yeah. Know, like, whoosh, one clean sweep. There's no ownership. So if there's no ownership, there's no my thoughts. There's no me story. Nothing is mine. Just life. Just life. Appearances. And it's all appearing. Mm -hmm. It's just appearing. Flickering on the screen. Yeah. Sometimes appears as the movie and sometimes within the appearance seems real. Do you know? But that's kind of like a I know, a subtitle, you know. <laughs> this appearance can appear real. You, do you know? It, it, yeah. has, it even has the quality of appearing real. Of course it does, because so many people believe it, totally believe that this is reality and that's it. There's nothing beyond this, of course. So even within the peer appearance, it has the appearance of being real, which makes it real, subjectively. Okay? So take out all the ownership layer. Maybe walking down the street and that form is happening this morning. Maybe not. Most it could have been to appearance. We've no way of knowing if it happened anyway, except you trust memory now. And whose memory is that? No, there is no mind. That's a thought. That's totally a thought. The mind bit. So what's left? Breath. Does that belong to somebody? It belongs to the body. Okay. And whose is the body? what next? So is it just a sitting in this thing? Just a, it just feels like a melting. Just it will continue to sort that the eye will continue to melt away until one day it won't be there at all. What's next for who? <laughs> for me. <laughs> and that's that? Okay, so he's back on track again. Okay. Even that is too much. Sneaky, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> It'll just do, 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 do. But so immediate. Yes. I mean, it's yes. Yes. I mean, there's literally nothing to do with this. Doing would be done by someone. Yes. yes. Doing is done through your Some sort of goal in mind. Yeah. Doing. If I do. Yes, but doing happens. As you know, creativity. Yeah. You know something. It just has its own momentum and moves yeah. through that form, which is called Philip. Mm. All of life is like that. <laughs> Except the me idea gets tagged on as if we're doing something. Mm -hmm. After the fact. Oh yeah, there's usually a oh, delay. I there's usually that. a delay. Yeah, I did that. Yeah. There's usually a delay. But we miss it, you know. We imagine that we've decided to lift our left arm, you know, but, but we haven't actually, you know. It was just the thought grabbed on, but attention is so much in the thoughts, you miss the fact that this happened. And then the thought came after. You know? mm -hmm. Thoughts are just catching up. Just catching up. 